What's going on guys? Welcome back to a new video. Today we have a product that I've been waiting a very long time for. This is 2021 Panini Noir Basketball, and this is a first off the line box. So if you're looking for hobby or first off the line, you're in the right place. The two formats are actually not too different from each other, and I'll, uh, throughout the review, explain the differences, uh, differences between those two formats. So this is definitely a high-end box, uh, very expensive. Cards look really excellent, and it's one that I've been waiting to open for a very, very long time once again. So thank you to my assistant, Mr. Top Loaders, helping us out. If you guys like these, you know, big boxes like this one, you must see more like it. And, you know, in the past, I didn't always open all the high-end ones, but I've been trying to uh, this year. So if you want to see more like this, let me know, drop a like, subscribe to the channel, uh, share and comment. I can definitely do some more. And yeah, it's a lot of fun opening these. Very risky, but great time. Got Ant and Lamelo in the back. Hopefully we see an autograph of them. And there's the IG. I post all sorts of stuff like exclusive news, um, early info, kind of looks at products early and all sorts of stuff. That's also where I buy, sell, things like that. So drop a follow if you haven't. Now, this product here, SRP is $700. The resale for hobby is, I'd say, $1,500, give or take $100 bucks either direction. It's kind of tough to pinpoint exactly. First off the line is over $2,000 per box. Now you get 10 cards per box. You get one uh, pack or mini box, kind of like a little box in there. And then there's four boxes per case. So seven autos or relics. And they're all on card autographs, which is a big plus. Now, this first off the line box, the way it is different from hobby is that it guarantees a First off the line exclusive uh, gold frame card number 211. And so the hobby won't have that. This will have that. And that's that's the difference. Everything else should be the same. So here's some sets to look for. Spotlight Signatures is one of the most popular. And I think it's my favorite from this set. It's kind of like a shadowy um, look. Kind of like a spotlight, right? On the player. And then they sign in gold ink. Now the gold ink, sometimes quality of the autograph is a little iffy. Because it's not as... Um, it kind of gets a little chipped sometimes. But it's a very beautiful set. Vertical and horizontal. Uh, for that set, there's sneaker spotlight signatures, which uh, sh uh, showcase shoes like, you know, Kobe 6 Grinches for Anthony Davis, stuff like that. And then also RPAs, black and white RPAs. There's metal framed cards, once again, rookie statement, feature length, uh, vintage art, one of my favorites, vintage art there. And, um, you yeah, once again, a lot of rare stuff to find, like the laundry tags would be the rare ones for the RPAs. So I don't think there's any like Logo Man or like, um, maybe this is a swoosh RPA, but I think it's mainly the tags that are in this one. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised. Maybe there's something kind of in there that we're not expecting, but the tags would be the ones to expect for the super, super short prints. That being said, let's open the box, see what we can get. So that's kind of just information on that product. And so to finish up the kind of information part of the review, we'll just show the back of this box here. So there you go. That's everything you can find. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, there you go. Big set. So pause that for a second if you want, but a lot of stuff you can find here. Two different versions of rookie patch autographs, that'd be the black and white and the color. And then the two very popular sets there. And that's it. All right, let's see what we have. Always fun to rip these and there's our, our mini box. So this is technically a pack, but it's a mini box. Put this box here to the side and let's get this open. All right, got to cut the seal here. Now we will be ripping a case of Hobby, not first off the line, but Hobby on Pac-Man Breaks, our second channel. That's where we do group breaks and stuff like that. And we'll see how easy these cards come out. Historically, it's not easy to get these cards out of the box. And I think it's more the same this year because I'll show you, I'll show you why, at least why I believe. But it might take a second to kind of get these out. I think I just got them. Yeah, there you go. The reason why it's so tough to get out is because this box comes up like this. So the cards get caught in that little corner, which is not good at all. I don't know why they haven't changed that yet. It's been like that for years and the cards always get caught in that corner and they just, they just keep making the boxes the same. So it is unfortunate. Hopefully the corners don't get too dinged up because of that, but it is possible that they do. And um, yeah, that's, uh, that's the way it is, unfortunately. So here's our first card. Get that to uh, focus in. DeMar DeRozan. And it's 17 of 99 for the Spurs. So that's the base. And there's a bunch of different kind of variations for that icon association, stuff like that. So there you go. It's a black and white theme, definitely. Fits the name. And let's see uh next card. 60 of 99, Deer and Fox. Cool. So two base cards. There should be one more, I believe. Seven hits, 10 cards. So there we go. Nice, nice looking base. 
I personally think that I like the previous year base a little better, but the base isn't a huge deal for these for these sets here. All right, let's see what we got. And DeMar DeRozan for the Spurs. This is the if we can autograph DeMar DeRozan, I mean we're on a pace to do it. This is the Icon Edition. Comparing it to this one here. There we go. Association edition. So it's uh, the Damar box. So maybe all the base cards are on the front. In the past, there's a base card on the back, too. All right. Definitely looking for those spotlight and the uh, spotlight signatures, the sneaker ones, and RPAs. Those are the three sets that I'm a big fan of. The RPA is actually third in that order. I don't know how I rank the other two. Probably spotlight's first, sneaker second. Oh, here's our metal card. And then uh, RPA's third. All right, let's see who this is. This will be number 211, I believe. I'll take that. A vintage art James Wiseman. Six of 99. I mentioned earlier, I absolutely love this set. I believe it was 1617, I think it was, with Brandon Ingram and Ben Simmons. And the vintage art that year looked absolutely beautiful. And I, I just fell in love with that set. I remember trying to like Photoshop um, Grizzlies versions of it. That is a nice, nice set. Love the vintage art one. The theme has... This one doesn't remind me too much of that 1617 one, but I still like this set a lot. Very nice. Metal frame. It's a heavy card because, once again, metal. And probably put this in a 180. Yeah, it fits perfectly in there. So there we go. James Wiseman. Ooh, that is a nice uh, frame card to get. You can get a lot of cool stuff like Zion and LeBron on a card. Lamelo, Ant. Or like this. You know, people who... Kind of fit together. All right. Now we should start getting some hits, right? Maybe. All right, there we go. 14 to 25. So there's Jamal Murray, Jamal Murray, Jamal Murray. Patch from Jamal Murray. Nice to see a patch. 14 to 25, Jamal. And um, it's a cool looking set. Kind of like a movie premiere theme. Newsreel jerseys. I like this set, right? I think it'd be cooler if it wasn't the same picture. You know, maybe you get a different picture here, different picture here, but it's all the same exact face. And having that twice, I feel like they could have switched it up, but it is what it is. Very nice. All right. So there's our patch. Next one up. And uh, CJ McCollum box office. So this is a set we've had in the past. Kind of cinema theme, 60 of 99. CJ McCollum. So you'll get those jersey cards before you get those autographs. The question is how many jerseys and how many autographs will you get? Because it's or. So seven autographs or memorabilia cards. If it was and, that'd be excellent. That's 14 hits. But seven hits is, is pretty awesome. And there is CJ McCollum. Next card up. All these cards I would say are about 130 point. Minus the frame card and maybe a thicker patch or something like that. Might be a, or an acetate card which would be that kind of clear layer over a card. Um. I think we have a redemption. That would be maybe uh, one size up. Got elegant decor. Obi Toppin, uh, 61 of 75. A little napkin in there. All right. Forward, 69, 220, Dayton. Nice looking card. Now, these thicker cards, one thing about thicker cards is they do get dinged a little bit easier. More prone to damage, more surface area to get damaged. But uh, thick cards are pretty cool. So I definitely would look closely at these cards because a lot of times thicker cards, on card autographs, stuff like that are definitely going to be a little more damaged. Not all the time, but sometimes. All right, so we have Redemption here. And we have this guy. We have Lucky Curry. If you're new to the channel, this Redemption, oh, we use this to reveal the Redemptions. And uh, he's pulled us some truly excellent Redemption so far. I believe this is Redemption, right? Yes. Okay, here we go. No clue what to expect here. Usually, I feel like when I op open boxes, the best card is near the back of the box. So, this is kind of in the middle. Let's see what we get, right? All right. Nothing so far. This is one of the old style redemptions, which is kind of strange. 2020 Noir. Freeze frame signatures, hollow gold. Don't know if that would be numbered to maybe 10 or something like that. 34. Malachi Flynn, that's not bad. One of the one of the many rookies in this class that that showed some flashes, right? So I think there's like several guys going, at least several guys going into next year that 
showed flashes. Question is, do they follow up on that? Do they fizzle out? Do they boom the next year? You know, but Malachi Flynn for the Raptors there, pretty cool. Freeze frame signatures. I don't know what that set looks like. So right now we just have uh, this guy here. A lot of redemptions this year. Hopefully next year they can get some more live autographs, but it is what it is. All right, next card up. Should be another auto here. And it is Vlade Divac to 99. And he had a really like flat autograph. Hmm. Eh, squiggle, squiggle, squiggle. Finish. There we go. But uh, that's still like four times more ink than uh, we get on a lot of autographs. Like Sadiq Bay. One of these is like four Sadiq Bay autographs. Maybe five. All right, let's sleeve them up. There we go. All right. Now, how many cards have we got? I don't know. We're coming close to the end. I think we have two cards left. And here's our next one. Oh, Jason Kidd. Oh, this is a spotlight? Oh, it is a spotlight. There we go. 25 and 99. Noir. So, uh, is that like terribly off-centered or am I just... I feel like that's really badly off-centered. I'm not sure though. Huh. Well, it says Noir on the back right there. And so you kind of see the spotlight's kind of on the player. Everything else kind of like, you know, darkened out. And the uh, player's the focal point. They sign on the card with that gold ink. And thankfully that gold ink looks pretty nice. A lot of times I've seen a little bit of chipping. 25 and 99 for the New Jersey Nets. They took the Nets from us. I missed that, but that's a cool card. Jason Kidd and um, that actually might fit in 130. I thought that maybe it wouldn't, but just fits, right? Yeah, there you go. Cool. All right, this should be the final card, right? Yeah, final card. We got the three bases. I feel like this should be an autograph. And usually this is a base card though. And there we go, RJ Hampton uh, RPA. So this is the RPA here. So we actually saw all the sets except the sneaker one, but um, we will open some more. So maybe we'll see that one. But seventy four ninety nine, and that is a I'm gonna I'm gonna say three color. Look at that little bit of little bit of something in there. That's three color, and technically the little perforation. There we go, three color super duper um, RPA there. But in all seriousness, actually uh, RJ is another one a guy, one of those guys like like Flint show flashes. The question is, you know, what does he do the next year? Uh, now a member of the Magic, who are going young. So he certainly have his chance, more chances than we have on the Nuggets. Nice. Hampton, I'll take that. I think that's it. Let me check. Let me lift up the box and just double check. There's one more card just sitting there and we completely forgot. All right, let's see. And that's it. Empty box. All right, so let's do a recap and my final thoughts, rating, review, stuff like that. We will have some more of these that we're going to open because I just love this product. So stay tuned. And a pretty solid box here. So let's see, what do we get? Let's do these ones first. The Vlade to 99, the I guess flattest auto yet. Malachi Flynn, hollow gold, that's just pretty cool. And then Obi Toppin jersey to 75, got a CG McCollum to 99, got a Jamal Murray to 25 patch. Uh, DeMar DeRozan, I feel like in these high end products, they should all be patches, but. Maybe, maybe I'm crazy. To 25, DeMar DeRozan. Uh, to 99, DeMar DeRozan. And to 99, De'Aaron Fox. That's actually pretty nice, depending on how he does. You know, he could fall flat and this is nothing, or he could boom and it's something. You know, you never know. Then our three best cards, and actually I would put this like this. So we got Jason Kidd's Spotlight Signature. This is actually my first one in, uh, in my collection, and I absolutely love Jason Kidd, especially since I play a lot of 2K, and um, he's perfect for the system I run. So I, I use that Dark Matter Jason Kidd. To 99. And then we got the RPA. They are horizontal. Usually they are horizontal. Uh, RJ Hampton. And then a very, very cool card. If this guy can maximize his potential, this is a, a big card. Six, and uh, six of 11, almost a 99. Always used to seeing to 99. Six of 11, vintage art, James Wiseman. Definitely a top three uh, frame set, in my opinion, uh, from this product. So one of the better ones to get for sure. And, and that does it. A lot of fun. I love this product. It is a pricey one. But, um, the cards, I think, look beautiful. And let me know down below. Do you like this product? What do you think of the designs? What's your favorite set from this product? And overall, I'm a big fan. Can't wait to uh, open some more. I definitely love some more, so stay tuned for that. And uh, I say on a scale from 1 to 10, it is once again, it is very pricey. Hobby will be less. You won't be guaranteed this frame card. Uh, that's the only difference, once again. And I would say it's um, 
I'll give it a seven. I'll get seven point uh, five out of ten. I'd say that potential can be very high, and that's a great thing to ask for. So those three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That frame was an extra card. So hobby, just if you're wondering what hobby's like, minus that frame card. There you go, hobby. But great stuff, and uh, appreciate all you guys watching. If you want to see more videos like this, more big boxes like this one? Uh, once again, show support on those vids with like, share, comment, sub, and we'll definitely do some more. A lot of fun. Stay tuned for tons of more awesome content coming soon. I appreciate all you guys' support as always, once again. And that does it. Thanks for watching, guys. Like, comment, sub. I'll see you guys later.